How fast can it land to Cuba? Episode 7, the Ford Fiesta XR2. Hello, good evening and welcome back to Houseborns World YouTube channel. Tonight we're going to be hitting how fast can it lap Sucuba. And the car that I have picked for this episode is the iconic, as you can see just behind me, the Ford Fiesta XR2 and this is the 1981 model. My friend who's just slightly older than me learnt to drive before me and his very very first car was a Ford Fiesta of that shape although it wasn't an XR2 it was iconic and still lives within my memory and I can always hear an old style Fiesta on the road I'll never forget the sound the handling of the vehicle and the fact that we learn in snow if you put your handbrake on and your front wheel drive you could pull the car along crazier so in 20 years motoring has advanced so far and some of you may be looking at this 1.6 litre about just under 100 brake horsepower but it was 800 kilograms that give it a 0 to 60 i think of about nine and a half seconds and it was quite sprightly all you younger drivers of today don't appreciate no ABS, no traction control, no stability management settings. These are raw cars. But they also have 80s suspension and handling and are not as like their modern counterparts. Cars today have trick suspension, differentials, traction control, stability control, anti-lock brakes. There is a lot of safety features in cars today that make them so much easier to drive than they used to be back in the day. Now, I got this car from a set of Corsa Land. I am going to donate to them and I would uh, say to you, if you've used the Assetto Corsa Land website, please donate to these guys. It's a fantastic resource of cars for Assetto Corsa. And although we're going to get the original XR2 around the track, there is a tuned version. Now, I don't quite like how all the bumpers and everything's been removed. I don't quite like the styling of the car. But the tuner who's done this, Uncle M, he's give this, uh, I don't know the actual brake horsepower, but it's 224 wheel horsepower. Now, I imagine some of that uh, is lost in translation so let's say it's 250 brake at 250 brake and 800 kilograms this is going to get far more of a chance of setting a decent lap around our track and not only that it's an absolute hoon to drive and i want to show you that so in tonight's episode we're going to feature both the original and the tuned xr2 but it's the tuned xr2 lap that will be going towards our leaderboard so enough chat, let's get into the cars. And hopefully this thunderstorm doesn't interrupt or cause us any problems. Right guys, here we are in the Fiesta XR2. I've got myself in the right position, roughly in line with the shoulders. I find on some of these uh, muddy cars, the VR position is slightly out. So let's just take a very quick look around. We have the sport seats with the lovely cloth material. Quite actually like the look of that. We've got the same uh, material and colour scheme running through the door cards. We've got these really old style door handles, wind up windows, no electric windows in this. We've got a four speed manual gearbox, very old pull style switches and flip switches. Um, not sure on the sound 100% but it's pretty near hopefully on the sound of the car on the outside it will sound really good because it's got that distinct Ford rasp from the exhaust right I've jumped in VR it's quite warm I'm steam slightly hopefully that doesn't affect us too much we had to cut short early off the storm but anyway let's get rolling so into first gear I'm just going to edge off slowly nice nice sound from the exhaust now this uh, car doesn't come unsung the torque doesn't hit until 4000 rpm 
So it's a 1.6 litre, I think it's just under 100 brake horsepower. So it's not going to light the Secuba circuit up, but it's getting a nice little shift on here in fourth gear, working up just to 70 miles an hour. Now, because it's 80 suspension, if I push real hard on this, the front end's just going to really wash out. It's got very little front end grip. So we're going to work hard into this corner, and I'm on the brakes now. Slight lock up, and the front's just, that weren't too bad. The speed wasn't too bad there. The front washes out. Maximum revs here, getting it turned in. Having a feather it, this can't carry the power and speed through the corner. Going to keep the foot planted, coming up to the 6,000 RPM rev line. I'm going on the brakes. Again, it's slow, again, it turned in. It's all very, I wouldn't call it sedate. I mean, bloody hell, I'm down the main straight here. I keep my foot in it, coming up 6,000 RPM into fourth. We're nudging just on 85, 90 miles an hour. But once again, it's not got the best of grip. Pushing hard on the exit. Uh, let's go for a fairly decent time lap if we can. Oh, too, too late on the brake and it just... No attempt to turn in. That was poor driving on my behalf then. So you've got to judge your braking well, but it goes. I'll tell you what, it's not bad, it does go. And it turned in, head straight, full down on the power. Into third gear, can we, no, we can't get the power in there. Back on the power now, flat, keeping it flat, it's turned through there well. So it's, apart from its lack of front end grip, it's not doing too bad. See how fast we can get through the uh I think going around. Whoa, whoa. Pushing it now, coming now, gonna get it round. Nah. Oh, that's it. It's actually turned that quite well. It's turned it better than I thought. Right, one last attempt here. No, too fast. Too fast and we'll leave it at that. We're gonna get this pulled up. Let's swap over to the modified uh, XR2 because that is going to be a bit more of a handful. So for those of you who were interested, I didn't really do a best time lap there, but in the normal Fiesta XR2, we've got a time of 1 minute 20.161. Again, I didn't really put any effort into that, but now we're going to switch over to the modified XR2. Right, so here we are guys in the modified XR2. We've got the position just right, shoulders in the right place. Very uh, similar dash to what we had before. Looks like a crisscross carbon effect in this. We've got a bit of a turbo boost gauge there. That's sounding turbo to me, I don't know what conversion's been done to the engine I know it's about 220 wheel horsepower I think that's right so I'm guessing 240 brake 250 brake uh, looks like some leather style trim on the seats with a crisscross pattern on there right the reason I wanted to put them the tuned version of the XR2 around the track is this this is a lot more getting to get a lot more lively the handling's a lot better than the original car still front end still wants to wash white but the rear gets very very light <laughs> you can do stuff like that oh mr gear 
watch this free as it likes to kick out. But that's a lot better turn in the other car, the original. Get it balanced in, machine. Front end struggling for grip, scrubbing a bit into fourth and then hard on the brakes, getting it turned in and then lighting up full power out. Now this speedo is in kilometres an hour, what, how fast I should say, can we get into the corner? Gotta watch the rear end, the rear's coming slowly. Look at that! <laughs> This is why I wanted to put this round the track, it's just an absolute boom. Let's get it stopped. Rear kicking round again. Right, I think enough messing about, let's go time lapping. Whatever time I got, I got steaming slightly. It's very, very warm in my uh, living room this evening. And so, we'll call it at that. Okay, guys, so there it is. The time is 1 minute 04.575. I think the theoretical showing a 103981, so we've definitely a lot more time in that car. Perhaps a bit cleaner of a lap and a bit more time spent on it. But it's just a fun car. Really, really fun car to drive. A hoon car. It can just be balanced on that rear that just steps out. You can catch four wheel drifts in it. And the power is a superb amount of power. It's not overpowered the vehicle. Just watch your entry speed. Anyway, we're going to stick that up on the leaderboard of 104.575 for our tune 
1981 Fiesta XR2. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you pretty soon in more videos to come. Peace out.